hey this vlogging things my friend it's not easy you know i don't wake up looking like this this takes time and i'm not the best makeup artist plus the setting up the looking for location Woo! i give props to content creators all over the world i understand your struggle <laughs> Welcome to my second uh, YouTube video. I am so excited today. The nerves have settled a bit. I'm, I think I'm getting my footing in this uh, vlogging thing. I'm so, so excited and so, so looking forward to even growing further and um, getting to know you better and you getting to know me better. So here we go. Here we go um today i want to we're going to be reading a bit that's why i have my glasses on um i want to share i'll be sharing a concept that i've learned um from a book i've been reading a book that was known to me by my friend uh, mercy but i'm purchasing it because i've come to realize that it is something you don't just do for one day it is a full-time lifetime practice and there I go I need to have the book I want to have the book so that even as I finish reading it and as I finish going through the practices I still continue with them as my everyday ritual because honestly it has really really changed my life um to introduce I'm going to give you a quote um, um those who don't believe in magic will never find that's by Ronald Dow. He was a writer, uh, born in 1916, uh, passed in 1990. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Um, and this takes me back to a childhood. When I was a child, I believed in almost anything and everything. I would watch a cartoon, and I knew cartoons existed somewhere. I would watch um, fairy tales, and I knew those uh, magic. Uh, wands and wishes were true i would make them myself i believed in the truth fairy yes born and raised in kenya i believe in the truth fairy i know i even took out my tooth at some point and put it under my pillow but oh she hey in kenya you will wait for that dollar it never came but i still believed in it and uh, as we grow up we tend to lose this sense of wonder and magic ergo Maisha inakuwa ngumu you just see stress maisha ni stress kila kitu ni ngumu but i think it, to a, to an extent we bring about this um, stress onto ourselves because we always think of luck we think in terms of luck we think in terms of i can't we think in terms of haiyeze can we think in terms of it's hard and ego as as we as what you think of you bring about more of and hence the culture of maisha ningumu everything is a struggle everything is a hustle i know i've been there i'm talking from experience not to judge anyone life is not a bed of roses but you even those two, two little thorns you can you can still have appreciation for the fragrance of the rose without always complaining about the little thorns and the thorns don't always have to prick you you can learn where to hold the rose so that the thorns, the thorns don't prick you and i think this practice brings about um this idea to life and i'm talking from experience it is not easy to be a positive person it is not easy to think that i have or it is not easy to come or to have a thinking from a place of abundance but with practice and uh, one day at a time you can actually become this i know this because i have been there and i think i'm not doing so badly when it comes to this and um that's why i want us to go through this concept not um uh throughout maybe i can do a uh, one segment now then after a while do it another segment and slowly but slowly we can when you arise in the morning 
Give thanks for the morning light, for your life and strength. Give thanks for food and the joy of living. If you see no reason for giving thanks, the fault lies within yourself. So, again, go back to the, at the attitude of gratitude, or rather the practice of gratitude. Once I began reading this book, the first thing I started with was when I woke up, when I woke up in the morning, the first thing I think was thank you. No matter how I'm feeling, I'm not a morning person normally. I like the night time. I like that this is now the sun is going down right now. It's one of my favorite times of the day. But as, when you wake up with that, thank you. Even though your eyes can't open, you feel like no, I need sunlight. Thirty more minutes, two more hours. But that thank you, and from there I have my own other practices. I proceed to maybe pray and read scripture. But that first thank you is um, it proceeds to create a, an uncontrollable um, positive alignment in your life. And it's not like don't say thank you tomorrow morning and come back to to my comments like Julia. I woke up today. I said thank you. I went outside. There were no traffic. It was raining. I was splashed on. No, it is something and it is something you have to feel in your spirit and it is something you have to do honestly and openly not as an experiment it is something you have to live and you have to live today tomorrow the next day and slowly by slowly you start seeing small fruits small fruits like you just get out uh, you get out of the road someone gives you a lift to the stage you reach the stage uh, there's a matatu with a nice seat the seat you like come on the back left or near the window the seat is there you reach town someone uh, you reach the office someone offers to buy you lunch those are the small small miracle and magical happenings that you'll start to see in your life once you start doing this practice and i'm speaking from experience um let me read something for you every action always has an equal reaction and um, this is to say that um, whenever whenever you appreciate more and more is given you have two children you give one child a chocolate you give your second child the same chocolate the first child says thank you mommy or thank you daddy the second one runs off there's a tendency if the second the first one came and said mommy i need this 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 and this are both your children you love them both equally but there's a tendency to favor the one who came back with the one who who say thanks to begin with there's um you're more drawn to that one to give back to that person the the, the child who say thank you when you gave that child the, the chocolate in the first place not that you will not react to your second child this is your baby but I'm trying to give you like a practical example of what rest the book says the universe conspires to help you when you show gratitude my take uh, because I am a person of faith I tend to believe the universe is um, God it's my higher power and he he, in turn, for my gratitude, gives me more. Um, this practice is not only um, just a worldly view. It's been seen and presented in Holy Scripture. It's been presented in the Quran. It's been presented by Buddha. It's been presented by Lao Tzu. So it is uh, a religious, a spiritual practice in itself. And that's why you get to see more fruits the more you today this was just um, at, uh, the first step in this um, series I'll be doing it partly but oh, no matter who you are or where you are I promise you if you do this practice and do it with your with your whole heart with the feeling of it even um, someone serves you tell them thank you someone opens a door for you you say thank you someone gives you an opportunity you're not 
looking for you say thank you you will tend to see more and more and more favor upon your life and um hopefully as we go further in this and we go in this journey together you'll get to see that what i'm saying is actually true and fact so to begin with i can give you a small um like exercise or small um recipe small magic formula just to begin with first deliberately say the magic words thank you when you wake up in the morning say thank you when you as you take breakfast say thank you you don't even have to say a big prayer thank you is a prayer on itself the more you say the words thank you and the more you feel gratitude in your heart honestly and openly then the more abundance you will receive and i'm telling you this is not a hoax i have been practicing it i have seen things change in my life the fact that i've started this channel is proof to me that this practice works because um where i was let's like, seven months ago and where i am now Ooh, uh, it's, uh, yes yes so trust me as we go along in this journey we will see and you will see more and more fruits and i will give you practical examples from my life of what this practice is doing to my life financially um physically um at work i will give you practical examples and i want to also share try what i'm telling uh, what i'm uh, um, uh, telling you and see and if you see any fruits please comment and let me know let me know also other practices of gratitude that you do i'll, I'll be sharing more that i do i have a, a, a morning uh, practice i have an evening practice i have other practices that i do related to gratitude and related to the attitude of thanks and i have seen them grow my life and i know they will grow your life ah, i'm liking this evening is so cool so nice but i hope it's not really affecting badly the audio quick update on that i'm getting new equipment not a uh, high-tech professional but at least i'm growing i'm growing in this um i'm going in this new mind so i'm i'm, I'm buying new equipment and hopefully that will make my quality of videos better my voice my the clarity i'm hoping this will improve um i i am so so grateful for you sticking with me um like in my last video and this is something i want to do i want to make it a channel from my for my I, I, a tradition for my channel as i finish i would like to all the time appreciate anyone who in the last days of before i i uploaded a new video who helped me in one way or another i would like to appreciate them and for this video i would like to appreciate one my sister caroline samba my sister is oh she's crazy she's crazy i love her madness she really encouraged me after my first video and went on out searching for equipment for me that were affordable that i could buy to improve my channel and she stuck there by me her new nickname is now my manager so i'd like to thank her so much and also my brother-in-law collins the support is so overwhelming i was so unsure and so unsteady but this two just gave me my oh the boost i needed my my friend uh, pesh Benina, she really really um she was i think my first viewer and she really encouraged me my friend you know yourself baby jane yams you know yourself thank you girl she even shared my video on facebook thank you so much everyone who has viewed my video i joked about it having 10 views um i'm taking that back and i'm never ever going to give myself a limit because i i serve a great god i had the last time i checked i had 44 views and i am so you don't know how excited i am for those 44 views before because i didn't expect those 44 views so i am so grateful for the views i am so grateful for my three subscribers oh, your dolls your darlings thank you so much and this might be my team odd i'd like to thank patricia Kiburu. 
I if I knew I'm still not good at you know I would point here and put you know her link here for her video but I watched her video on um, how to vlog on your phone and she had tips and hacks and that really helped me it has really changed my perspective it has taught me so much i think it's even made this this second video a better video i know the flaws are still there i know this but i bet you not i kid you not a year from now we'll be looking back at this video that we back in now you know for bones of going to be a great ride i thank you so much to all of you who have supported me till now and uh, please keep on watching keep on subscribing i'm fun i am i am fun you know thank you so much guys and have a blessed blessed evening god bless